Hello everybody. Today I am going to teach E10 mass transfer. E10 mass transfer for the sixth semester. We mechanical students. So this is one of the core subject they have in their engineering. So in E transfer, I am going to teach very interesting and simple unit called as heat exchanger heat exchanger this is one of the most easiest subject or topic under heat and mass transfer so what is mean by heat exchanger heat exchanger is a thermal device heat exchanger is a thermal device which is used to transfer heat which is used to transfer heat from hot fluid to the cold fluid so it can be vice versa so what is mean by heat exchanger it is a thermal device it is a thermal device it is a thermal device which is used to transfer heat from the hot fluid to the cold fluid or it can be vice versa okay so if i want to show what is the heat exchanger means so let me draw a simple sketch so this is how my hot fluid so this is my cold fluid this is my cold fluid So there will be a heat transferring takes place. There will be heat transfer take place between hot and the cold fluid. The device which makes the hot fluid to cool or cool fluid to hot, it is called as heat exchanger. So example for heat exchanger. Example for heat exchanger, we can give radiator which is used in our IC engines in our automobile so this is one of the example of heat exchanger condenser evaporator cooling tower these are the some of the example of the heat exchanger okay now let us go to the next topic to the next topic classification of the heat exchanger so when we talk about the classification of the heat exchanger heat exchanger is classified into three types the first one is based on the flow of fluid this is the first classification so under that we have three types one is parallel flow counter flow the third one is the third one is crossed flow so what is meant by parallel flow when hot and cold fluid flows in the same direction they when the heat exchanging takes place parallelly to one another when it when the flow of fluid in the, is in same direction then we call it as a parallel flow so the second one is counter flow what is counter flow when the hot and cold fluid flows in opposite direction then it is called as a counter flow 
cross flow means when the hot and cold fluid flows perpendicular to each other then it is called as cross flow so let me draw a sketch and uh, let me show you so what is parallel counter and the cross flow so assume this is a pipe a concentric pipe concentric pipe let me see a concentric pipe so a concentric pipe a concentric pipe So let me say in this concentric pipe the hot fluid flows here in the inner pipe and the cold fluid flows on the outer side. flows on the outer side yeah so when the direction of flow when the direction of flow for instant when the direction of flow is parallel to each other or it flows in the same direction So the type of flow it is called as it is called as parallel. So inside if you see this is your hot fluid flowing inside and this is the cold fluid flowing outside. Fine. So let me write this. So THI means hot fluid inside, TH naught is hot fluid moving outside. So TCI means cold fluid getting in, TC naught means cold fluid moving out. So this type of flow it is called as parallel flow heat exchanger. So let me discuss about the counter flow heat exchanger. So what is counter flow? The same setup let us draw. The hot fluid enters here. And the cold fluid enters here. Cold fluid enters here. Similarly, similarly. So, the hot fluid flows like this. Th i, th naught, which means hot fluid is getting in, 
hot fluid is going out so so the cold fluid getting in cold fluid is getting out look at the direction it is opposite in direction this type of flow it is called as counter flow heat exchanger <coughs> so this type of flow it is called as counter flow heat exchanger what is mean by cross flow heat exchanger so let me draw a sketch of the cross flow heat exchanger looks like okay see these are the various type of grids so see here the hot fluid flows in this direction and leaves out so this is thi th not similarly cold fluid moves in into this direction and leaves out so basically this will be like a slab type something like this the fluid one fluid pass here the other fluid will pass over it it's like a slab one upon the other so there will be arrangement so the fluid pass so sometimes they mix sometimes they don't mix so this type of uh, heat exchanger it is called as crossed flow heat exchanger crossed flow heat exchanger so these are the types based on the flow of fluid fine now let me go to the next topic So second one, the classification. <clears throat> the classification will be based on the design and construction of the heat exchanger. So under the there are two types. One is concentric. tube heat exchanger second one is shell and tube heat exchanger so let me see what is mean by concentric tube heat exchanger so what is mean by concentric tube heat exchanger means as you see the figure as you see the figure there is a concentric line so the there are two types of tube one is the outer tube and the inner tube which has common center distance or common center point this type of fluid is called as like this type of design is called as concentric type of heat exchanger so the in one tube like the hot fluid flows the other tube the cold fluid flows so this is this type of tube it is called as concentric tube heat exchanger next one is shell and tube heat exchanger how does shell and tube heat exchanger okay so the diagram which you see it is called as shell and tube heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger so what is shell and tube heat exchanger 
so basically this type of heat exchanger consists of two part the outer surface what you see it is called a shell the inner thing a pipe which is passing a wind pipe this is called as tube so basically what happens the hot fluid flows into into the tube hot fluid flows into a tube and it comes back generally in shell and tube important point hot fluid flows into the tube or tube side so the cold fluid flows into the shell side cold fluid flows into the shell side shell side okay so what happens when the fluid flows there is a baffle which kept here baffle is nothing but it it is it is a kind of plate which makes the fluid to flow in a proper direction so these are the baffles which have, which is been attached so that it makes the fluid to flow in a proper direction you can see the baffles which is used to make, make the fluid to flow fine so this is called the shell and tube heat exchanger so you need to understand the specification of shell and tube heat exchanger so it has one shell and two tubes like how we are claiming one shell and two tube means there is one outer shell where the cold fluid enters and cold fluid exits whereas tube there is one particular tube which is bent so here what happens is the hot fluid enters here and it is released even though it is one setup we consider the mass two so how to uh, write this or how to specify this it is one shell and two tubes one shell and two tubes this is very important you need to understand one shell and two tubes similarly if you see similarly if you see this diagram so if you see this diagram what you tends to understand is the hot fluid flows here hot fluid comes here ti and t not hot fluids comes here similarly in other stage the hot fluid enters and hot fluid exits so so the cold fluid enters here tci and exits exit here tc not similarly it enters into the other part of the shell tci tc not so the heat exchanger taking place in two stages so this type of heat exchanger it is called as two shell and four tubes this is shell 1 and this is shell 2 and four tubes 1 2 3 4 four tubes so you can keep on adding the number of stages or number of shells accordingly your tube get increases so three shell means there will be a six tubes four shell means so eight tubes so multiple of two the tubes will be increasing five one is concentric and other one is shell and tube you are seeing next the third classification based on the 
physical condition of fluid based on the physical condition of fluid so what is the physical condition of fluid for example for example if i have a hot fluid so what i should do in terms of heat exchanging i have to cool that i have to cool that for converting hot fluid into cool fluid what type of heat exchanger you going to use is you are going to use condenser condenser basically condenser what happens means you going to lose the specific heat of fluid so this is the main intention of condenser suppose if i have a cold fluid cold fluid i want to make it hot i want to make it hot so there what i am going to use i am going to use i am going to use evaporator evaporator so it gains i mean latent heat i'm sorry this is not specific heat it's a latent heat of fluid latent heat of fluid so by this way we can classify the heat exchanger so summary what we seen today we seen the definition of heat exchanger second one we have seen classification so under classification we have seen three things three things we have seen first is based on the flow direction second one is based on the design and construction third one is based on the physical property of fluid so these are the three like definition and classification we have seen in today video so we'll continue the class in like we'll continue the class in next upcoming videos thank you